And we're gonna roll. I was on like a half hour early to do all my, my testing and I didn't realize how long it would take my computer to load Facebook. <laughs> So we've got people from all over. I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. Uh, New Hampshire, Iowa, Wisconsin, Rhode Island, New York. Hey, Bonnie, Lancaster. Those are my home ground roots there. Connecticut, it's rainy there too, Shondell. So this is the beauty of technology, you know, and this is the silver lining of the situation we're in is that it prompts us to use platforms and technology that maybe we wouldn't otherwise be using. Um, all right. We even have UK. So you guys are, what time is it there, Laura? I think it's five hours ahead or six hours. It depends on what time zone we're in. So you're late afternoon, early evening there. Oh, it's sunny in Mass. Well, that's nice. Somebody said it was sunny in Florida too. Yeah. Well, that's not surprising. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I think I'm finally, good grief, this has taken forever and a hot minute to go live on Facebook, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to roll with it. Um, Facebook will catch on when Facebook catches on, but for all those of you that are, um, you know, live with us here on Zoom, I want to, I want to welcome you. Um, let us know, oh, we're from Australia, awesome. Wow. Uh, yeah, everyone is on mute. We're in webinar mode, so you guys are in mute, so we're not going to be able to hear you. Um, at the end, you know, depending on what our timing is and things like that, I might be able to unmute you all if, you, if someone wants to try talking. Sometimes that just gets a little crazy depending on how many people are, um, you know, live. But um, the goal of today is really to talk about, again, how to host um, online parties. Uh, the, the culture and the community of our brand is really to you know, service people one-on-one. -on -one. We always hear that within our company. We're one-to-one -one marketers. We're an internet marketing company with one-to-one, -one, um, you know, footprint behind that. And I think that's so important because there are so many amazing products in the marketplace, right? And we know that our products are best in class. Um, we're a broker. We only source out the best of the best. But um, I think we really need to give people a, an additional reason other than mm -hmm. that to use our products. And that is um, a few of the incentives that we're going to talk about today. Um, whether it's, you know, offering them a gift with purchase, whether it's, um, you know, they host an event and they're getting 10% discount or 10% of the sales. Um, you know, we just want to be cognizant of, um, you know, making people feel good and incentivizing them. Uh, you guys hear my crazy toddler in the background. Sorry, I think my husband's dealing with her. But this is the reality of working from home. My dogs could bust through at any moment, as could my toddler. Yep. Um, so, you know, with our online party program, I think the two things, our goal today is to connect the dots for you guys in two ways. One of them is to, um, you know, learn how to leverage Facebook and create an online group on Facebook so that you can service your customers in an intimate way. The other thing that we want to teach you how to do is use the online party platform through your motives website. So maybe you guys know, maybe you don't know that um, you have an online party platform on the website. So we, again, being a technology company, we have um, amazing uh, resources. I think a lot of times we're not even aware of. So Emily and I were kind of laughing before we started that I don't even know when this technology came out, probably like five years ago or more. Mm -hmm. um, and I really just want to take a minute too to introduce you, Emily, because um, I know the last few years you've kind of been, your husband retired and you've just been enjoying the flexibility to travel and yeah. do life on your own terms. But um, when we first launched this platform, you were very instrumental in leading the way with that. I know you were having a lot of success with it. And, um, you know, it's really cool that you're, that the timing for you is that you're excited to build again, you're a, a motor yeah. trainer. Um, and I've seen you doing a lot of stuff on Facebook live again. So I was like, that's, you know, so those of you that are watching, that's why I asked her if you guys know me and my leadership style at all. I find people who are better than me to, uh, you know, give information because we all have skills and talents. And I think that's why we're such a powerful community together because of the variety of people. So why don't you just tell people a little bit about you and, um, you know, anything else you want to share and then we'll get into it. 
Okay. Well, a little bit about me. I, um, well, I've been um, with Motives, I would say probably like eight years now, but three of those years I didn't know about the whole unfranchised portion of it. I just kind of Love the makeup, and um, I fell in love with the custom blend system because I'm a colorist at heart, you know, I'm at my trade. Right. And um, so that's kind of how I got on board. Then I just fast forward, um, I started to build a team, um, and then um, they came out with this technology online, and that's kind of my thing. I've always been like um, kind of a techie person and um i love the idea i think it's because being a, a salon owner at such a young age um and my responsibility um in our family business was the marketing and getting the word out there and putting together shows and putting together you know different events just to keep our salon relevant so that was kind of my job so um, when social media um, platforms kind of uh, came out of nowhere, um, I just thought it was an amazing marketing tool because now I don't have to make the flyer, print the flyer, right. pass out the flyer. Like I can totally just utilize. You can be the flyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I, and people, it's so funny because I can totally make a flyer in like two seconds. Like mm -hmm. because of all the years of having to create these things yeah. so when they came out with the online party um i'll never forget the day that they were explaining it on um, face I mean, on facebook on at a convention and yeah. i just looked I, I think i was sitting next to another trainer and i just looked at her and i was like oh my god this is amazing so at the time it was amazing and i did really really well and I, I grew a great customer base online and that I still service today. Um, so awesome. the reason that you're seeing me on Facebook live on my page and not in a private page is because a lot of my followers were like, you just need to get out of this, this group page and we, everybody needs to see you. So that's kind of where I am right now. Yeah. But, but I, I still like it now. I think it's a private thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of a good lead into how to get started using the online party features. You do want to get, um, create a Facebook group. We don't yeah. have time. That's not what this is about today. You can go, go on YouTube and, and type in how to start a Facebook group or just mess around. It's so easy, so user friendly. But the one thing I want to point, point out about what you're doing is by going live on your personal page everybody's seeing you and i i, I want to encourage everyone to do that especially during these times because everyone's living online you guys that's the only like you or window to the outside world you know exactly. and um so that's where people aren't really like it's not even about netflix right now i don't think people are just all like every time i pop up facebook there's live video after live video after live video which is great because people want to connect you know so yeah. i think the point to learn from that is if you go live on your personal page, then you're going to get um, people, obviously, um, that maybe haven't been following you for a while. I mean, that's really our goal in business is we want to engage new customers and new prospects all the time. It's not about like, yes, we can all learn from each other, but we want to be conscious as a motives community that um, when you're commenting on, like, if you guys follow Emily and she's on a Facebook live, like, don't ask weird questions or use Mark America lingo, um, no. when she's live, because we're all trying to grow our customer base and build a business. And so what you can do is say, oh my gosh, what lip color is that? I love it. Or your skin looks amazing. What are you using? And, and that helps the audience engage as well. Um, so I think that you can all start there. You want to get a group where you want to funnel people in, but you have to get, you first have to get people interested. So right. the other thing I want to touch on is please don't just um, like spam people by adding them to your group. I think we've all had that done to us. No one appreciates that. Now, um, and, it back, and it backfires. People get upset. So it's, yeah. it's best to just invite That's them true. and make it more like a, an exclusive thing, an invitation. Right. I like that. Yeah, make it an exclusive thing. So, you know, I know um, 
like I said, years ago when we first started doing this, you were really one of the first to master the process. So do you want to talk a little bit about how you do that in the invitation process? So you go live on your, your page, so your personal profile, so you can get an interest. And then from there, are you, you know, I'm sure it depends. If you have their number, you're probably calling and inviting or your Facebook messaging. So how are you getting people interested to go from, just having a relationship on your personal page to wanting to join like a VIP group? So what I normally would do is, um, well, the best way to do it is because people love to watch makeup videos, especially if you yeah. already have that kind of following. But if you don't, that's okay. Do something that requires a part two. So sometimes I'll just start a makeup tutorial on something eyebrows lips or whatever and then i'll say well here's the link so you can see the rest of it that's one way to get them oh. into this private group um okay. and i let them know it's a private group it's just for my customers you know and i make it super exclusive because people humans want what they can't have so if you tell them that you know this is specifically for a specific group of people that are interested in quality skincare and not and learning more about nutrition or learning more about what's be, what be, what better colors are for them and their skin tone so kind of I, I hate to use the word fishing but I kind of um, have them I give them a little bit of information and then I tell them where to get the rest of it so yeah. I that's how I get them to go into the group or be a part of the group. Um, and then if I'm having an online party, I'll just send out the invitation. And I always use the word exclusive, and this is just for a group of my friends, you know, my online friends. I always call them my online friends, because they are my online friends. Yeah. I don't really know them in person, but I know them online. So um, I, for me, it's more about building that relationship. So if I know them, I'll call them. But if I don't know them, I will go into their um, messenger and leave them a message, but I leave them a voice message. I don't type it out. Um, I just kind of, so they can hear my voice and you know, it's just more personal in that way. Yeah, that's a great tip. I was gonna mention that too, that mm -hmm. um, you know, if you don't know someone, because uh, once you get, a lot of you at this point, I mean, I think when we first launched this online party technology, a lot of people were not proficient with Facebook or groups, but I think now a lot of people are. Um, but so if you are using, um, you know, like proper hashtags, that's the searchable item. So if you're going live, I know one thing I noticed you doing Emily is like the get ready with me, GRWM. Mm -hmm. So if you use that hashtag, then if they're, let's say, I mean, we have to be conscious that right now there's a lot of people that are really struggling. A lot of people have a lot of anxiety or people who live alone or in like an apartment community where maybe they're used to walking in town and that's how they're socializing and they don't have that opportunity right now. So people are longing for a way to connect. So if you're mm -hmm. doing the right things, and again, we don't have time to get into like a whole online marketing series. Although <laughs> I will say uh, Jason Pellin did an amazing, um, uh, ISM internet sales and marketing, uh, training recently, um, on zoom. I'm sure he has more coming up, but anyway, so you should watch that. But in using the right hashtags, I, the whole point I'm trying to make is you're going to get new interests and you're going to get new people following you. Um, and in which case you're going to have to personally send them a message and don't just copy and paste cause you'll get put in like Facebook jail, you know, right. um, but, and I just want to reiterate the point that you made about you can do a little voice um, memo, you know, and you can uh, pop that in their um, Facebook. And that way it's just a more personal um, invite. So yeah. I'm just a, a little distracted at the second because my, my going live on Facebook's not not working. So let me just message Lee back here. Um, <laughs> it's fine because we're recording and then I'll upload the video. Mm -hmm. But Okay, so you first want to get prepared by creating your Facebook um, group. The other thing mm -hmm. I want to talk about is branding yourself, right? So for me, I branded myself like Moxie with me. Um, so that's my little tagline. So Moxie is like a slang term. So I know um, you, and some of you may have traditional businesses, in which case you should 
roll on with that branding. And um, maybe this is a good time to even like make a little plug for people who are in the service-based industry. If you um, are a hairstylist and nail tech or a salon owner or a spa owner and esthetician, um, a lot of a lot of you or a lot of people you know in that situation are are panicking like they're all out panicking right now they have no income coming in and so what an amazing service you can do for someone by maybe teaching them a little bit about this because a lot of times industry professionals are not they don't love technology they're not really online very much no. um, so you know it's not about getting them to partner with motives tomorrow it's really about just being a good friend and helping them out because you have a passion to help people right. that'll lead somewhere positive in your future but you shouldn't worry mm -hmm. about that um so maybe help them get started with a personal um or a, a business page i should say or a group page for their business where they can have their community and their clients connect and maybe at some point they'll want to leverage this technology and and maybe they won't you know mm -hmm. um so i think that anything else we're missing on getting people um set up on facebook before we teach them how to set up the live or the online party um Basically, I mean, like you said, I think the branding portion of it is super important. I mean, yeah. if you're if you're known, because um, I'm I'm having I'm talking about this right now because I'm kind of having this struggle myself because my my uh, social media name has always been Pink Shampoo, mm -hmm. um, and then when I moved salons, um, I had to rename it, so I named it Pink Shampoo. So everybody knows me from that. But then I wanted to use the word makeover because um, makeup is just putting you in a box. So mm -hmm. you need to come up with a brand that, because of what we do, we kind of make over the entire lifestyle. And so I didn't want to put it in just a makeup box. You know what I mean? Yeah, so those choice. are little teeny tiny things that you need to consider when you're thinking of some type of a, a name or you know a name that you're going to use for your marketing. You want to keep it all the same so that people can find you anywhere on all platforms and um that's kind of you know what i'm dealing with right now yeah and i think you know there's some things that you can um you know take your existing business name and then just add a little twist to it if you want to mm -hmm. do a specific online kind of platform but that is a good point for people to really ponder is where are you going in the future with this and again don't put yourself in a box because we are you know, a comprehensive solution as a company, not only do we have cosmetics and skincare, we have beauty from the inside out. We have a partnership with, you know, a weight management program or a lifestyle system, really, I like to say. Right. Um, and so, you know, and there's sometimes collaborations you can do with our other divisions, even our web center division, because a lot of business owners need, or need websites. So, I mean, that's kind of why we launched the, the Motives Beauty and Business Academy is because it's more of a comprehensive approach in a b2b space right so um right. so think about all of those things because to me if you're going to spend the time branding yourself and you're going to spend the time setting up a facebook group and you're going to you know commit to doing lives and you're going to use the right hashtags if you're putting all this energy into things then you want to make sure you're maximizing the result and that you don't have to reinvent yourself in a year because maybe you didn't think through all these moving parts, you know? Right, um, exactly. That's a great point Nicole brought up in the chat right now is she said she has an esthetician who's really worried because products she sells can't be sold online. So it's one way or the other. Either they're um, products that are only a, that salons and spas, a lot of boutique brands that first started for industry professionals, um, that's how they started. You can only get them through a space like that. But what happens over time, and the term for this is diversion, and we talk about this at the MBBA too, but a lot of them end up being, um, those smaller brands are bought out by larger brands. And then right. the manufacturing process changes, the quality changes. But I think for the business owner, the hardest part is that then those products are mass marketed to the entire population. And you can find them on eBay, Amazon, Walgreens, um, Walmart, you know, and it's really affected negatively affected um, business owners in a huge way because now instead of a product that was truly exclusive that their clients could only get from them, they're still taking the time to make the sale, but they're not able to capitalize on that profit. 
And so right. we're a solution for that because yes, you can find us online, but our company does not handle any customers. So let's just say in Emily's instance, you know, maybe she, when she was um, first leveraging this online party platform and you're incentivizing people to invite their friends to the online party, maybe you have customers that you didn't know before. That happens all the time. Maybe you lose touch with people. Let's be honest, we're not all perfect. We don't all follow up as much as we should. I know I of don't. Course. Life is so busy. Um, but let's say five years later, you know, she sees motives pop up on Instagram and you have a customer, Jackie, from five years ago that you only met through an online party. When Jackie goes to reorder product through motives and it doesn't matter what inspired her to do that, that customer is linked to you for life um, through their email address. So that's a really cool thing. So think about the power of that with these industry professionals where they can take their database of clients. They can market to them right now when they, they need something. They can market to them. Um, they can send a, an email out to their client base and say, hey, we are getting creative on servicing our customers virtually. We mm -hmm. created this online um, group or this online business page. Please add yourself to that if you've not we're gonna have some really fun ways to service you from afar and then again whether they use this platform or not and I wasn't even planning on going through all that but I think it is timely and I think we've had the solution for so long it's just now it's really relevant right. um, and so there was another point that you made that I wanted to um, reiterate maybe it'll come back to me um, Marketing, I, I was what I was trying to touch on was keeping your market um, marketing uh, name or marketing logos or which whatever that you're using basically the same on all platforms so yeah. people can find you that was I don't know if that's gonna help jog your yeah mind. yeah um, and that that is so important and I think that way because sometimes on searching on Facebook if it's a group or a personal page or a business page they're all gonna pop up in a search so having the branding consistent um, is very important. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's, you know, I, the, the reason we're spending so much time on that is because you really have to be set up in a way to service your clients beyond the online party link, which we're going to show you how to do that on your Motives website. Mm -hmm. But mass marketing, anything really is not effective. And that's not what we're designed to do at, with our company and our brand. We're all about one-to-one -one marketing. So I'm going to show you how you can um, start an online party through your Motives website, and it'll give you a unique link for people to click through. But again, that's not something that you just want to create the link and then blast it on Facebook and expect anyone to purchase because they're not they're going cool. to. You they're know? not. Um, so that's why you have to take the time to get organized, generate the interest. And then the point of the online party is that you can, um, you know, think how we do things in person. We, we recommend having, um, hosting one of our duplicatable events. So we have an all about skin event. We have a blend your beauty. It's your time to shine. Um, you know, so when you're picking a central focus, it's better for, you the business owner because you're not feeling overwhelmed having to buy every single product we have you're just focusing on a handful but it's also better for the consumers buying decision when they're focused on just a handful of products to choose from so think about that when you're doing these online parties just pick a topic pick you know, um, like a, a theme and you can invite the same person to an event over and over and over again, because they're going to learn something new each time. Um, so I don't know, Emily, if you want to talk about how I know you sort of always had a, a party going on and you were very specific with doing different looks and different, um, themes. I don't know if there's anything you want to add on that before we go through the website here. Um, so I do it two ways. Um, I think it's, well, even in person, I think it's really important to just hone in on a few products. I found that in the beginning of my career, my motives career, I would just put everything out and just go and explain everything. And by the time I was done, everybody was like, ah, this yeah. is so much information. I don't even know where to start. So I found, and I can't remember exactly who taught me this. It was one of the trainers. Like if you just hone in on a look or just like, let's just talk about cleansers today. And then 
and then so that your followers can find what cleanser is perfect for them. Mm -hmm. So that worked so much easier, so much better. People were able to focus. People were able to say, okay, yeah, um, I think this cleanser is best for me. And so what toner do you think I should, you know, and then it would help me to kind of build on, you know, adding different products and re and creating that relationship. So yeah. for me, that was huge. Like yeah. it was a pivoting point in my business because um, online, in person, okay, it's easy, but online, you really have to keep that person's attention because it's so easy to just, for them to just keep scrolling. They'll catch a couple yeah. of words and then they just keep scrolling. So I, the tip that I feel that was most beneficial for me in my business was that hone in on three or four products, you know, that um, kind of coordinate with each other. You know, they um, like, skincare. yeah, like if you're going to do skincare, do the value pack, do the value kits, like, you know, where there's three products yes. and each line has that value kit. So go through that um, and just kind of hone in on that. And then if you're going to talk about eyes, just go through the palettes and then, or maybe three palettes, you know, because everybody has different tastes. So that's kind of the tip that I thought was super uh, beneficial yeah. for me in my business. And it's something that is different than what big brands are doing, right? Because if you think about what's the alternative experience for a consumer, they go mm -hmm. to a department store and they have a very impersonal relationship with that person. And even if they're good, I mean, a lot of brands do a great job training their employees with makeup application and sales skills. And what, what happens is you end up buying like everything they put on your face because mm -hmm. they're, they're, there to do that they're there to sell you on everything because right. they're never going to see you again right and right. there's no loyalty there so then you leave and i think people feel so overwhelmed by product choices yeah. um you know like i was traveling a few years ago and my luggage got lost and i was traveling to go like get a new salon up and running and i thought i can't meet these people for the first time and show up with like no makeup right and now and all my luggage is all gone so i went to target and i was buying like something to wear because i'm like i don't you know i'm not going to spend a lot of money like and waste it but because i'm gonna get my luggage soon but i'm standing in the makeup aisle and I'm just like this is so overwhelming I don't even know where to start and then the packaging is in packaging is in packaging you can't even see like what the color looks like exactly um, and then you you then it's all trial and error and you know I had been using our products so long I got spoiled with how pigmented and the product delivers results you know so I, my expectation is like up here and I'm granted I'm at Target it's not the same quality but <laughs> Anyway, it was just a horrible experience all around. I felt very overwhelmed, even though I work mm -hmm. in this industry and I deal with makeup and skincare all the time. I was, so I kind of even knew what I was looking for. But so you guys get that, right? You know, it's so think about what you can do different, because again, this is a very, very competitive industry. So what are you doing different um, to stand out and to make your clients talk about you? Know that everything we do is word of mouth. Our company will never spend money on mainstream media, advertising, things like that, because that's why we get paid, right? And so that's an, a good little business building tip for you, learning to speak in themes with even just your customers. Let them know yeah. how much you appreciate their business and then ask them for the referral and say, do you have any friends that you want to invite to this online party? Or do you know anyone who, you know, has secretly always wanted to learn more about makeup or skincare, but they feel very overwhelmed? Well, like that is a great referral for me and my business is built on word of mouth and that's why you'll never see us on a commercial or on a billboard is because I get paid from my company um, to basically market advertise and sell the product um, you know and then if they want to compare us to like a multi-level marketing company I'll just say you know we're not that I can see why you think that because we are you know a home-based business or an entrepreneurial opportunity but um, we don't have a multi-level marketing pay plan. We don't pay percentages off of levels and we don't manufacture our own products. Those are the two big differences. And yeah. that's really all I say. I'm just planting seeds. But um, the reason I'm going there is because these are things like when you start to engage customers one-on-one, -on -one, these are conversations that sort of come up. Um, 
but again, do what you could do differently. When you think about um, anyone from the direct sales industry, I have a lot of respect for because that's not an easy gig to do. Um, but if you follow any of them on social, it's almost painful sometimes. Like I have a lot of people and I support people whenever I can. If they are partnered with an MLM and like they're selling some kind of product, like if it's something that we don't have a category of, I try to support them and I'll buy a product. Um, it's not a bait and switch thing. It's I'm truly trying to support people. But right. my point is, when you see them on Facebook, you can tell they are copying and pasting scripts. They're all sharing the same exact like verbiage, the yeah. same exact photos, and it's not personal at all. And they're mass marketing, and it's it's tacky, and I almost feel bad for them. Or it's just too lengthy. You know, sometimes it's like they go on this whole dissertation, like. Listen, people want to look and feel good. Let's not overcomplicate this. So right. all you need to do is be you. And I think if you guys aren't following Emily, you should, because we were talking a, a few weeks or I don't know, recently about how she's like, I got really vulnerable going like no makeup on my Facebook page and doing skincare, doing makeup, but like how maybe you can speak to what people's response has been to that and how empowering it has been to that, to them. Well, I, and I would love to, I, I, Sometimes I like, I always ask my customers, is it okay if I share this? Because sometimes, actually, oftentimes, I will get a message or um, a text or, you know, just on Messenger or whatever. Sometimes they'll put it in the comments, like, thank you for doing this. It really has um, opened up my eyes how important um, self care is. Yeah. I really haven't worn makeup in years. And I'm, I'm really not feeling myself like that. And, you know, I try to talk about, um, you know, empowering um, women and, and yeah, makeup is, I always tell them makeup is supposed to be fun and it's supposed yeah. to make you feel good. Um, yeah. And I'm, and I, every time I do a makeup tutorial, I always let them know that my goal is to reach out to the everyday woman to show them that although you don't have time because you have kids and you have husband and you have the household and you have your job, but you can take 15 minutes out okay. for yourself to just take it down. 15 minutes. I try to keep my videos under 15, 20 minutes tops. And I always end it with, you know, you're responsible for your own happiness. So make sure when you wake up today, you are happy on purpose. You wake yeah. up and that's what you're going to do. You're going to be happy despite oh, all of the circumstances. So I always kind of try to empower them that mm -hmm. way. And I get tons and tons of um, messages like, wow, that really touched me today. I really needed to know that. I really need to yeah. hear that. Or, oh my God, I've been practicing this cat eye and I think <laughs> I got it. And they'll send me a picture like that is gratifying for yeah. me like that yeah. more than anything else that i that i'm reaching out to people mm -hmm. and um they're being you know they're responding to being empowered that's yeah. like what it is for me yeah and guys the money follows you know what i mean yeah. i think if you keep the intention um pure and you just really want to empower women you know sometimes it seems ridiculous but sometimes we almost need permission to do that like okay, you're right. Like, because we have this mentality where, you know, it's like expected, like the more we sacrifice ourselves, the better mom or wife we are. And it's, that's not what it's about at all. It's no. about, you know, taking a little time for self-care and prioritizing you. So you look and feel better, you know, and then when we are happier and we're more confident, we are better moms, we're better wives, things like that. Like literally for two weeks, I didn't put any makeup on until I think it was yesterday because I was doing a plan showing with my cousin. And um, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so. And then the rest of the day, I was like, okay, what else, what else can I do to be productive? You know? So it's so important to take that little bit of time. And I think the so the underlying theme here, when you're building a client base, because learning how to create an online party link isn't going to make you any money or help build your business if you don't have a customer base. And I know a lot of times when we're kind of serving the field on what people need help with, it's like they need help retailing, which to me is so weird because I started, I think if you start as a customer, you're almost like retailing by giving referrals. And then you're just like, how are people not selling products, you know, because our products right. are amazing. So that's why I'm spending a lot of time um, really trying to get this point across because this is what we do and how we do it. It doesn't matter if it's in person or online and thank goodness Honestly, like my husband and I say this every night, we're like, 
thank God for this business because I was so paid every night. Oh my I'm gosh. So grateful. You know, and guys, like I partnered and I didn't do anything for five years, you know, and it's okay. Like give yourself some grace. No, I'm not where I want to be in this business. I don't know if anybody ever is. We always want to be doing more and be further, but of course, of course. it's like to have access to these products that are amazing for your health. You know, obviously looking good is important too, but right now, like having personal care products, having nutritional supplements, to keep healthy and having an income coming in, I think some of us take that for granted, the power that this company is always going to be here and the executive sales team works tirelessly to make sure that happens. Like mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what Mark Ashley has been going through getting our company established as an essential business so that our fulfillment center is still going. Like, cause if that, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have a business, but we can service our customers from afar <clears throat> right now. And a lot of Thank us are, God. I know, and we're growing and we're, our business is growing while everyone's in a really bad place and so that's kind of like i said i almost like i my i've had a lot of like hurt and anxiety for other people because i know what a bad situation people are in and that i have been working so much since we've been on this social distancing thing because i feel obligated to share this with people because people mm -hmm. need what we have and mm -hmm. so you don't know what you're doing for someone's life just by inviting them to be part of your community you know right now it's online eventually it can be in person but um, it might start with something as simple as, you know, women are overwhelmed with, they don't even know what skincare to, they're using. Like a lot of women I talk to, they're using baby soap or bar soap because they just don't know the proper skincare steps. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. So if you could do an online party with just that theme and that relationship will grow and evolve and maybe they'll, maybe this is going to save them right now. Maybe this is something that they can do and they can host an event and they can start to earn some retail profit and, and get their business going. So I always digress into business because my passion of this company is the business of behind these products, of you know? Yeah. Um, but I'll reel it back in. Um, so I want to, we're going to walk you guys through how to um, start your event on your website, but I want to note that we have this online party guide. Um, yeah. This is amazing. I have to give a shout out to Martha. Um, she, Martha Rosser, Martha Tello Rosser. I always forget which way her name is hyphenated, but I always say Martha Tello because that's fun. But um, <laughs> I think her married name is Rosser. But anyways, she um, was instrumental in organizing this content and then we sent it to our creative team. And so there's a guide you guys can print off. You can go on your back office on Unfranchise. Um, you can go under support materials and search for it that way, or you, you should be able to just type in online party guide in the search bar, and then there's a media tab where it shows up. But this literally walks you through, if you're a tangible person and you want to print it out and you want to read the guide, this walks you through how to do it. I'm also going to share my screen um, and show you how to uh, do that as well. So... I'm going to share my desktop. Um, can I just say that I, I read through this and it is so perfect. Awesome. It's perfect. Yeah. Every aspect, every aspect of the online party that needs to be considered is just. It's thought about, right? Simply little outlines. Yeah. You know, made very simple. I know when we were preparing what to talk about today, I was like, we have the guide, like all we have to do is reference this. I also want to mention so that I don't forget that on our Motives official pro partner page, um, which is our business owner support page, that's our community just for business owners. You can be an apprentice, a pro artist, or a Motives beauty advisor and unfranchised owner. All three of those people are welcome on that page. But um, when I say unit, if you go to the, um, like the sidebar, there are units and we have all the information categorized. So pretty much on any topic you can think of, we have a unit. Um, and so there is one on just online parties. And so what we do is if someone shares, like let's say Martha did a great Facebook Live and we can um, add that to the unit. So the units are kind of a compilation of whether it's a support material or a live video or even just a, um, a text thread on the page. So that's the units are comprised of all of those things and you can sort of self-educate. 
Um, so maybe we can give examples as we go. Um, like, so I told you my Facebook page and my branding for it is, is Moxie with me. Um, my daughter has like, of course we're home. All she wants to do is like shop online, you know, <laughs> like retail therapy. Um, so I'm like <clears throat> asking her, okay, what do you want? You know, and she wants like a little Chromebook and new clothes and whatever. So she had like $400 worth of stuff she wanted. So I said, okay, let's earn that. Let's do a series of live videos. Um, and if you guys haven't seen my daughter on videos and stuff, she's like very theatrical. She's beautiful and like, just like full of life, you know? So if you have kids, this is a great way to engage them. Um, you can do it together. Like, um, I've seen Laverne, Sarah, Sam, Pao, Martha, they've all done some, a lot of you have done really cool, um, Facebook lives together. I'm pointing them out because they're doing them in tandem, which I think is super fun because that's why every time I do a Zoom, I try to somebody. It's just more fun when it's engaging and not just one person. Yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, so have fun with that. But for me, like I did a little live video on my page the other day with my daughter and I'm like, okay, tell everybody, you know, what your goal is. And guys, don't be afraid to be a little vulnerable and transparent, especially if you're newer. Let's be honest, like when, when I first started building my business, I needed the money to survive. It wasn't even extra money. It was like, I couldn't even pay my bills. So I didn't have a choice and I didn't feel bad saying that to people. I would just say, listen, I have big goals to hit. I, you know, I know that you guys are spending money on this stuff anyway. I'm going to thank you in advance for supporting me. Um, you don't have to buy everything. I would use home shopping list to gain a customer base, fill out the home shopping list, pick a handful of things, you know, the mm -hmm. point is creative with getting some customers to engage with. And we've spent a lot of time talking about that. Um, but so anyway, Reese talked about what her financial goal was. And then I, I told people, you know, let us know what types of videos, um, and, and sessions you want to see. And so whether it's, you know, Reese doing my makeup or whether we do like a put your face to bed night where I go through my skincare regimen and she goes through hers. So these are all the, the, the point I want to make is have the themes, which we've talked about, but then you also want to schedule it. And I think now more than ever, people, us entrepreneurs need a little structure and we need a schedule. So you want to make sure that um, you're putting a schedule together. You can let your customers know that. So when you invite them to join your virtual community, they know when you're going live and you want to go live in that virtual community when you're doing something specific to your online party. Um, right. So Emily, I don't know if you want to elaborate on that because I know you, you're the master with all that. So, I'm sorry. So, uh, we're talking about, um, I'm sorry, can you just reiterate? Yeah, no worries. Because um, I so, was trying to uh, get you guys online here. Oh, I know. Everyone's like, the, the blessing and the curse of technology. Um, when we are using our Facebook group, and we're going to create an online party link and share that in the group, of course, but um, having a schedule, I think, is very helpful and letting people oh, yes. know what time you go live in yeah. your group um, yes. so that people can put it in their schedule and they can tune in. If you're just sort of random and you let time control you and you're reactive, you're not going to get the results. But right. let's say today's Saturday. Let's say after this, you guys all get excited. You go start your online party, get your Facebook up and running. You might schedule one um, live broadcast, you know, a day over the three or five days or 10 days, however long you're doing it. Um, and you know, it could be the same time every day. I think consistency is good or it, if you can switch it up, of course, but having a schedule and letting people know when you're going to go live in your exclusive VIP group. So, and also then you can answer questions. So maybe you're giving some education, but that's also when they get you um, live to live. talk to you. You know? Exactly. To inter and they they really love to interact. Mm -hmm. So and a lot of people because you can see how many people are actually watching, and some people will just watch and won't say anything. But there's right. some people that have been watching you for a while, so they get comfortable and then they start asking you questions. But yes, definitely a schedule works um, mm -hmm. because two reasons. One, it keeps you, when you have a home-based business, it's, you, it's a lot of discipline. Like, you know, you yeah. have to yes. say, this is what I'm doing at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at 11 o'clock, because if not, life gets in the way and things don't get done. Mm -hmm. So for me, online parties and just like my tutorials and um, things that I do online keep me, like, as long as I'm working on something 
to grow my business every day. So, and I have found that when I do an event or I do an online party, when I give them that itinerary, I call it an itinerary for the week, if it's three days, five days, seven days. Um, so they know like, because some of my customers, like they're just interested in eyeshadow. Some of my customers are just interested in skincare. Some of my customers are just interested in nutrition. So when I give them that itinerary, like on Monday, this is what the what we're gonna discuss. On Tuesday, this is what we're gonna discuss, you know, all about eyes. On Wednesdays, we're gonna discuss skincare 101 or advanced skincare. I actually use the um, the materials from just our uh, training sometimes just to kind of keep it organized structured and organized um, yeah. structured you know mm -hmm. but people love structure and i have gotten many people that said oh um you know i'm definitely going to join you on wednesday for eyebrows that's what i need so you know because they have busy lives too and i always tell them put it in your calendar so you don't forget i'll send you a reminder blah blah blah, blah. so that way you know they don't forget to uh, come on yeah. But itineraries or schedules definitely work. People like consistency for sure. Yeah. And I think, you know, being diligent to, um, trying to go live on Facebook again. I don't know. I, it worked when I tested it and of course it's not working now. Uh, but yeah, that's, I just got a text saying I, they, they can't see it. So that's why I was looking for it. Yeah. It's okay. It's recording. Yeah, right. so we'll, share, we'll share the recording, but, yeah. um, uh, that's just a great point for an entrepreneur in general. It sounds glamorous to be an entrepreneur, you know, but it's, you have to put the work in and you have to be intentional with your time and don't let, you know, um, the time slip you by, or you have to, you know, make sure you're scheduling things out and put a little work in before you go live and do these things. Like you said, like have, whether you're, um, we have all kinds of tools and PowerPoints and whatever. So whether there's like new products, like anytime we come out with new products, we share the new product PowerPoints from convention yes. are always on your back office. So you guys can do online parties just based on new product launches. So yeah. um, a lot of our products are, uh, we have a lot of spring and summer products that are launching over the next um, month or two. Our Lumiere to the Lumi sticks are supposed to be live in a couple weeks. Um, that would be a great opportunity to do an online party just featuring those Lumi sticks and showing people how to use them. But then you can take the PowerPoint from uh, Unfranchise and you can show them some information on that. So I guess the point is right now, while we're all social isolating or social distancing, um, you can have parties going on all the time and there's no reason that your business shouldn't be growing and thriving and moving forward. Don't, you know... And I think to a schedule makes you get up and get ready, right? Because otherwise yeah. we're all just going to like slide into a state of depression and, and, you know, sit on the couch all day. So it's good to make us do that. So, um, I just want to shout out how beautiful our website is. I don't know if you, a lot of you guys don't do it, but, um, Emily who, um, works on our website from the company. I mean, she's amazing. like, look how clean and organized this is. Um, guys, this is your business. You don't show up to work every day, but you should be going on your website at least a couple times a week, if not every day, because these banners are always being updated. Um, we're updating the content all the time. Like the join tab, there are, um, different, um, you know, like we have information on the pro artist, the apprentice program. Um, a lot of people ask about the difference between the, um, fast start kit and the beauty advisor application. Like that's all I wrote all this here to explain like what the method of the madness is, what is the difference? So, um, just take a little time. I just wanted to plant that seed. Obviously we're not talking about all that, but no, um, but that's good to know because a lot of people don't know that all this oh. information is on here. Yeah. And then even the learn tab, like there's so much free information and education on here um, for your customers. Uh, so, but you can't service them if you're not proficient with it first. But so specifically for the online party, what you're going to do is go to the host tab. Um, again, there's more information on here. You should self-educate. Your customers can get more of an idea. Um, and so, you know, it's basically grab your friends, make a party of it. Um, there's a little video you can click there if you want. And then if they can either connect, like let's say they found us on social media and they don't have a beauty advisor, they can hit connect now and find one. Um, or they can schedule an event. So if they're, if you're a UFO 
or you are a customer, you can schedule um, the event. So you would create your party. I did one uh, this morning, just testing everything out. Like I said, I haven't used these in a while, but, um, and did Reese's must haves because I talked to you about how my daughter and I are gonna do that. But this is so easy, guys. I'm just gonna click through with you. Um, you just hit create party. You can pick a color theme. Um, so, you know, personalizing is always fun. These are obviously all like pastel oriented. I love like, uh, citrusy colors. So party name, you, I can just say, um, put your face to bed, <laughs> whatever you guys want to, want to do it. But one of the themes that we're going to do is, um, our night, actually we did it last night. We used the cell lab space mask last night. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Um, yeah. do you have a favorite mask? My, well, I like, is this, is this what we're talking about? The moisturizing intensive Oh, well, those are work. amazing too. Yeah. The, oh, so by the way, those are on special right now, just on our back office, the Lumiere de V ones. Really? Um, These are my favorite. Yes. They come two in a pack. That's like one ounce of product in there. That's like next level. Um, right. Last night, I don't think I have them down here because they're upstairs, but last night I used our Cell Labs line, Cellular Laboratories. We have a sheet mask from Cell Labs as well. Um, yeah. They're a little more affordable, so a lot of times I, you can get a, as a UFO, I think we get a five pack for about $50, so it's about mm -hmm. $10 a mask, and I'll use that as a gift with purchase, because you use it one time, like, and you do your cleanser toner, and then for me, I just lay in bed, I put the sheet mask on, then when I take it off, I put it on my decollete, and then you just go to sleep, you don't um, wash it off, and you wake up right. super hydrated, yeah. Anyway, so obviously you can customize the party name, the host, and then the message. Um, join us for, and this is just, I'm just doing it quick. Um, and if you want to think about this ahead of time, like sometimes what I'll do is I'll create a Word document and like, however, like if I, I'm so organized with how I do things. So I'll, I might schedule out for the next six weeks that I know that we're doing online stuff with GMTSS and whatnot. So I'll go online, I'll go on my Google calendar, I'll put it in there, I get a Word document, I create promo images, I create verbiage, and then it's all in one Word doc, and then I just copy and paste it in the Facebook event, which is inside my VIP group, or I'll copy and paste it in the party message. To Emily's point, you want the consistency of, um, you know, the branding, the verbiage, the themes to be the same. Uh, we walk through, so in this instance, maybe we're just doing a skincare, maybe it's just a three day event. It's a one weekend long and we're gonna talk about how to, um, you know, at night, the importance of uh, taking your makeup off and treating your skin. Um, and that's gonna be a little bit different for everyone, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then you click um, a start date. So obviously if you click on the calendar, you can do that and you can schedule out. Um, so I'm just going to leave it as today. Um, although, well, I don't know if you ever tried to do two at one time, Emily, have you? I guess you can. Two parties? Yeah. At the yeah, same you can. time frame? Okay. Yeah, you can. So, um, do you want to talk through your opinions on three, five, and 10 days? Um, I think there's, you know, different benefits and different reasons to schedule them at different lengths. I don't know if you want to give any insight on that. Um, I usually, um, the way that I use the days depends on what we're going to concentrate on or what the focus products are. Right. So I normally do three days for something tiny like eyebrows or, um, and I just kind of just talk about eyebrows and how to get them perfect and blah, blah, blah. Something small like that, like, um, lips is a three day. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my five day, which is what I normally would use, um, is when I, um, utilize actual looks. So I'll do for five days, I'll go through the whole like nutrition, skincare, foundation, eyeshadows and lips. So I'll do, you know, one day ever, you know, something. Okay. And then for the 10 day, I don't use that very often because that's really long time. Yeah. Um, however, I have used the 10 day because I like to give like two to three days before the beginning of the party. So I would do like, um, on that Friday, 
I would make the link live because that's all you're doing is you're making the link live when you create it, but the link isn't going to be useful to anyone if you're not sharing it. So right. you can be doing an online party and then nothing happens because nobody knows about the link. Mm -hmm. So what I do is three days prior, I would start the 10 day and then three days of those 10 days, I will just market the online party. So it would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I would give people, and I, I'm, I play this game where I give out points for them following directions. And then at the end, whoever has the most points and um, has purchased a dollar amount or above, um, they'll win the prize. And I always have like a grand prize. So three days prior, um, I will market that so people can start registering. Register, register, the party's gonna start on Monday. Register, register. So, and if they have already been registered, because I give points for registering on my site, and if they're already registered, then I give them points for registering a friend. Mm -hmm. um, and so that way they can still earn points for registering it as well so i do that for like the three days kind of market it but i need that link to be live in order to market it so i can draw um traffic to my website that's good yeah yeah like then on monday we'll do the five day party so now we're at eight days right and then throughout the party i'm telling them that the end of the party is Friday at midnight, Friday at midnight. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll leave the rest of the days because that's eight days and I still have two days left to make it um, the, the link to be live for 10 days. So those last two days is when, you know, people when they're under a lot of pressure and they didn't get a chance to do it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'll give them the chance those last two days here. The link is still live. Use the link to close the, um, the you know, before the party actually mm -hmm. closes on Monday. Mm -hmm. So that's what how I use the 10 day. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Um, yeah, I think that's brilliant. And um, I, the thing that I think everyone, and it's even noted in here, is like the little points program is you know, it's just a way for people to get engaged and obviously like gamifying anything is always, um, you know, fun. Um, yeah. so I'm just looking at the chat. How do you keep track of the people you've given points to? So, um, well, you can answer that. Um, but I just it, use that, um, I, at night, at night when I'm done and I'm laying, I'm laying in my bed and I'm just kind of going over stuff. I just have a notebook and I write down people's names and I put, I do check marks. So one, two, three, four, five, you know, yeah, how many how points they got. And yeah. then I add them so that in the morning I can put, because this is what makes, to me, this is what made me successful during doing the online parties. People love competition. Yeah. yeah. They love, and they love games. And recognition, because you're recognizing recognition. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now they're like, and I'm giving them all this stuff to do throughout the day, like um, go onto my website and find this look and, and name three products that were used to create that look. Mm -hmm. Like just kind of like... Um, scavenger hunt type of yeah. thing or just some some memes I just use and it's funny and if they reply or they whatever I give them points so at the end of the night I calculate all the points so that in the morning and, and if you have um because um Facebook allows you to schedule your post mm -hmm. so you can do it in the evening and then in the morning it'll just post automatically right. so that people know who's winning and who who's neck and neck and so they work harder and and they all place orders because they can't win if you don't place an order um <laughs> for the grand prize so that's kind of my i love way. that yeah and guys get creative you know like i know we're probably gonna get a lot of questions after this like what kind of games just do you like because what em emily's style is not gonna work for everybody or you know it might be different for me like we have very like your customers know you and they, you know, I think when you put the energy into it, that's, that's, you know, what's going to work the best. Obviously, um, points for inviting friends, I think it's a brilliant idea that everyone should do. Um, mm -hmm. And then pointing them to directions like, hey, subscribe to Motive's YouTube channel and watch one of our tutorials off of our pro artist playlist. You know, that would yeah. be really easy. Or, um, 
you know, pick a celebrity favorite and share the picture, like nominate what type of look you want me to do in the next broadcast. You know, like there's so many fun things that, that you can do to uh, engage people. Just be, I think, mindful of, and I know that this is how you've done it because I've followed you before, but you do things that are um, beneficial for motives, but you also just do outside the box things that are relevant, you know, um, like show me your quarantini or whatever, like what's your cocktail tonight for your quarantine or are you doing hot tea or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, so just whatever is relevant and in, in the now, that's what people are going to do. Um, mm -hmm. So I like the idea. So, um, you know, just to reiterate, if you do the 10 days, it's more going to just give you a little bit of bump in the beginning and at the end to keep the party um, open at the end so that any orders funneling through, there's time for that. But you wouldn't necessarily every day for 10 days be live and engaging um, for right. that time. Um, to, re to recap, three days would be just focusing on one, like face masks. And maybe every day for three days, you went through different face masks. Um, five days, like Emily said, maybe you're building the look. You're working on maybe beauty from the inside out with nutritionals, and then you're rolling into skincare, and then priming and base, and then eyes, and then lips, and finishing touches or whatever. Um, so here you basically, you decide how long you want it to run and then you pick, um, a category and, um, you know, obviously you can see how they have things categorized here. Um, I'm just going to click skincare. Um, and then, um, obviously for skincare, there's not really as many <laughs> get the looks per se, but we have, I don't even know how many 45 pages of get the look options. So, um, like I sat down with Reese when we did this. So of course, when we were scheduling her, she picked like all the glittery fun things, you know, but <laughs> so <laughs> just pick whatever's relevant, uh, whatever kind of theme, like if it's St. Patty's day, maybe you would pick a green theme. Right now we're rolling into like spring and summer looks. So you might want to focus on things that are um, vibrant and fresh. Like right now we have the uh, Thrill Me palette is a great spring palette. That's actually from last season. It's on special right now. So that would be a great one to kind of showcase. But anyway, so um, it says pick between three and 12. So there's one. Um, some of these, by the way, the companies updating these right now are team in the office. So like for instance, these gem pots, we don't have any more, but they're going through and they're updating, um, some of these get the look images. Cause some of them are, are, you know, there's a lot of them obviously. And some, right. of, them are some of the products are discontinued, yeah. but you can, they can replace it with another product. That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so then your party's done. So you click your images and then you can click view party. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, this is where your little quote comes up. So when people, um, click on the party link, this is what they're going to see. So they're going to see your personal message. Um, and then obviously sign from you, they can click shop now. Um, I picked skincare category. So notice how this is customizing the category of product that they're seeing and then these are my you know get the look that i featured and you like for skincare you may or may not get into that you know but these how amazing is that like and i want to point this out because i don't think a lot of you guys know but so let's say for instance the one look i picked here every product that was used in that look is is here in this section right and how cool is this technology that people can just simply buy the look and the whole look, all those products were added to cart. I don't know if you guys, we've had this technology for a long time. Obviously, if you want to just pick one product, you can pick one product and add it to cart as well. Um, but I just think that that's a really cool feature because again, taking the guesswork out of it, if someone's like, oh my gosh, I love everything about that. I just want to buy that look. They can. So be intentional. Don't just click through. I mean, today I did it at random. So I'm just doing a quick demo for you, but be intentional about the looks that you're choosing because you can see how they're featured here. Okay. Um, and then it tells you how much time is left and then there's going to be hot products at the bottom. I mean, guys, this site is amazing. It really um, is. Again, the uh, benefit of someone purchasing through this online party link is they're going to get a 10% discount. So you really want to promote that. Obviously that's deducted from your retail profit. Okay. Um, but it's worth it, obviously, because you're going to get a lot more engagement, a lot more sales. I think the big thing to realize here is that it keeps your theme 
the same. It keeps people's buying decisions focused um, and they're not overwhelmed. And then guys, when you start, you're not going to have a ton of people. You like the first one I did, ironically enough, she's my partner now, but my cousin Shelly, um, she was my first one in my, in my group other than my business partners. And she supported me and bought a couple products. Um, and I was like, so excited to reconnect with her about that. And then a couple girls I went to high school with, you know, so it was really cool because it was a way that I got to engage people that I, you know, maybe didn't see as much on a regular basis. And that is the whole point of this. Okay. So yeah. then you can keep that, let's say I only had maybe three or five people. I'm just keeping it real. My first online party. Then from there, if you start to have fun and gamify it and use some points programs or, you know, gift with, you can even, we have the party with me 100 for free. Um, outline so you can tell people hey if you do these five things then i will gift you my favorite face mask or i'll gift you whatever you know um we are in a business where you're the business owner and you're the entrepreneur and i love that we have creative freedom in this company because a lot of companies you don't you're not allowed to discount things you're not allowed to do certain things um so don't get stuck on the dot. You guys, the best way, we've given you so much information today, the best way to learn is simply by doing. Um, so we're here, we're gonna obviously um, stay connected and answer questions and support you guys as best we can. But I don't want you to not start something because you think you don't know everything you need to know. Trust me, you know enough to do something and experiential learning is the best form of learning. And you're gonna get better and better as you um, do this. So um, I think that that's a wrap. I don't want to overcomplicate it. We spent a lot of time talking about how to service people, how to fill your funnel, because that's what's going to make the party successful. But in regards to setting it up, you guys saw how simple that was. Um, you've got the online party guide. Just, just test it. So maybe the first one you do call a couple of your family members and your good friends and say, Hey, will you just um, humor me? Like you don't have to buy anything. Let me just test out how this technology works and blah, blah, blah. And, and, um, do it that way. But you know, you, if you feel like you need to practice, but everything is set up, you really don't even need to practice. You can just roll on with it. Um, I think someone had a Q and A, so let me click over here. Um, the best time to go live when doing an online event and that is whenever you decide it, whenever you schedule it. So like if you're doing like for Reese and I, if we're going to do a car face to bed Sunday night, tomorrow night, um, we might do like right after dinner. I don't want to do it too late, you know? Um, mm -hmm. so I might like, you know, schedule seven or eight o'clock or something, but there's no bad time. It just, if you're doing a get ready with me theme, then you're going to do it in the morning or beauty from the inside out. If you're mixing up your cocktail, you're going to want to do that in the morning. So, um, I think variety is nice too, right? Yeah. I started doing one at night at nine o'clock at night after dinner and dinner dishes are done and kids are down. And so I felt like a lot of, I did a poll and a lot of my followers, we're like, yeah, I'm in the evening because I'm bored to death and I'm eating myself to death. Yeah. So yeah. if I'm watching, and it's true. And that then, like, is real. I just started watching Outlander. Do you guys watch that on Netflix? I'm like, oh, I watched two episodes last night already. I'm like, ah. But yeah, yeah so, productive other than food and TV, you know? Yeah, because my, my, they, I used to do them in the morning when I was going somewhere, but now <laughs> going anywhere i just took a poll and everybody was like no in the evening when everything is you know everybody's down and i'm like perfect so yeah. i've been doing it in the evening but it hurts my heart because i do all this makeup and then i gotta wash it all off i know i saw it. like that one look you did with that blue on your it was so beautiful and then you're like okay come back i'm gonna take it all off i'm like no <laughs> i know i'm like i don't have nowhere to go i just took a bunch of pictures just so that i would have it you know yeah. but yeah. um it's, it's working perfect. it's working it, the, yeah. the technology works and by the way please i mean i know we mentioned this um that we mentioned earlier about the guide but like i really read this thing from top to bottom and it even has like party themes like you can use those party themes yeah. and the potential prizes like that's huge a lot of people ask me like what do you give and how do you yeah, create that's a party? another question that came through in the chat here is what do you give the winner of the points Right. So anything you can give them, I, they love custom. So yeah. that's, I mean, to me, 
I always tell people once you once I once you have I've customized your foundation and you use it for a week, it's done. You're never gonna put anything else on your face again. So I love to give away custom products because yeah. it it just creates another um, residual income yeah. for That's me awesome. and and a, and a relationship with that person yeah. because they only get the foundation from me. That would be my number one recommendation too. It's very affordable for us to create the product, but to them it's absolutely. a good value and absolutely we really order it. You could also just anything you have on hand, if you have an extra multivitamin or vitamin C or so, you know, anything like that and building share of customer, I think is a good idea to be intentional about. That's why I like the face mask idea because maybe they are, usually I lead with custom blend. That's where a lot of my customers come from. So then my yeah. goal is to get them on skincare, right? So um, it could be something you have at around the at your home, you know, um, yeah. Fiberlush Mascara. Um, I will tell you guys, go in your back office and type in, um, like even I think if you just type in the word sale, you'll see a bunch of stuff. But we have um, a lot of our beautiful seasonal palettes. We know they're only limited, right? And we're not going to have them forever. So um, a lot of the seasonal palettes that aren't in season anymore, they're like half off right now. So those would be great to stock up on and give away as gifts. They're still amazing products, obviously. Fiber Lush is almost a buy one, get one free. It's close. Um, we have that on special. Just because that when we first got Fiber Lush, there was a huge, you know, we sold so many. And then when they did a reorder, I think they ordered the same amount and it, it didn't, you know, go as um, quickly or what have you. So um, we're not getting rid of Fiber Lush. It's an amazing product. It sells really, really well, but we have a lot of it. So we're just trying to move through it. Um, okay. Those face masks that you showed, the Lumiere to be, um, they have aloe and all kinds of anti-aging serums in them. Those are on special right now. So you guys load up on that kind of stuff. Just It's going to be a little less BV because you're spending less money, obviously, but they're great to have on hand for gifts with purchase. Um, sure. so if you don't custom blend, those are options as well. Um, mm -hmm. So Martha. Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying about Martha, Stephanie, but Martha is awesome. And again, check out the units um, section for more information. Um, this was fun. It went fast. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like we, we should it did go fast. Yeah. And um, I was all like stressed about it. Like, I mean, my hair this morning, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I haven't washed mine in like I don't know, five days. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I had like an hour to pull myself together. <laughs> that's the only thing like when you're a full-time entrepreneur or during this isolation I'm like man like we've been up so late and then we're sleeping in like my kids are still sleeping it's noon I'm like this yeah is <laughs> um but thank you guys for joining us um uh, we just give it a try you have nothing to lose and everything to gain oh. have fun with it um this is recorded so we're going to post the video in the Facebook groups um I will Make sure that you guys have it as a tool. You can share it. You can use it. Um, uh, let us know. Keep in touch. I'm going to make a post in the Facebook group so that if you guys have questions as you're doing this, there's one centralized spot that we can stay connected. But um, let's let's roll with it. Let's see how much uh, your online party link, by the way, when it when you start it, you're going to get an email from your distributor email that you, you know, your businesses that are saying that it started. At the end, you're going to get like a recap email. Um, I just, I don't want to spend too much on that because that's all auto generated. It's easy. You know, we want to just focus more on how to maximize the results, but, um, have fun. Let us know how it works for you. And as you're doing them, if you, if you have questions, I think it's great to do them tandem with people, have guest people come into your groups and go live. Like some expert from afar is always a great idea. Yes. Um, hey, Amy. Yes. Thank you. Mother's Day is coming up soon. So, all right. Lots more um, online sessions to take advantage of in the next six weeks or so. But thanks for joining us. We hope you guys uh, make a lot of money with online parties. Thank you. Emma. Yes. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Lisa.